So at the very first time as everyone knows we use some files and in this procedure also we need some files. So basically I have stored this folder name android 13 installation over there. These are the files we needed that is a rom.zip, disable force encryption firmware file and also the nick gaps as the android doesn't comes in gapps installed. And this is a TWRP which I have flashed before because the system ext TWRP works fine when you have to flash android 13 based roms. So as the drill goes we have to reboot into the recovery of this device. So here I have re rebooted into recovery and now I am wiping all the partitions which are applicable. The first one is Dalvik, Cache, System, Vendor, Data and also System EXT. Once I have selected all this, I have just swiped to confirm the flash. So here our flash has been completed and it has been wiped successfully. So the next step is we have to go back and once we go back, we have to click on install. Clicking on install, we have to navigate to the folder that is I have stored in my USB OTG drive. So over here, this is the folder where I have stored all the files and we have to flash the file in order which we usually do. The very first file is the firmware. The next is the rom.zip file. So we have to select that rom.zip and also add our gapps file. So as you can see these three files we have stacked upon and once we do this we just have to swipe to confirm flash. So this flashing procedure has been started from the firmware file and this will take some 1 to 2 minutes to get flash successfully till our gapps gets installed on our device. So this is the rom.zip and let's skip to the part where we are done with our installation. So over here you can see all the success notes where all of the files have been flashed successfully and these are some of the notes of it. This is the gapps, this is the rom.zip and this is something that is our firmware. All these files are mandatory and as usual I have flashed all these files as needed. So the next is we have to click on mount and we have to mount our vendor. So we have to check mark that vendor and again going back we have to flash our DFE that is disable force encryption. So once you click on it you just have to swipe to confirm flash and within a second it will get flash. So that's it that's what is needed. So now we just will go back click on reboot and reboot it to system. Once you reboot to system you will see that your device will show the Poco logo and also the CRDroid logo which, uh, which will give you a hint that your devices will be getting booted into system but let me tell you guys it won't get booted. To be honest this is the exact procedure which you need to follow using system ext based twrp but still following all this procedure wisely I am stuck into boot loop. And let me tell you guys, before also see Android release one Android 13 version of this ROM but again when I flash that ROM I face the same issue. I don't understand this that why this is happening. This might be because I have been mistaken in some procedure or I am doing something wrong but in my experience I have been flashing everything perfectly and without any issues. So if anyone knows that how to resolve this issue, you can just comment down in description below and let me know if anyone else following the same procedure, does this procedure work for you? So that's it for this video guys, if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such update upcoming. I just thought that this is important to address as this issue is something important and everyone must know about it. So see you guys again in the next one, peace out.